Welcome to the start of my Florida Atlantic University NCAA football dynasty series. The goal of this series will be to take the FAU Owls from this to this, the best group of five school in all of college football. This is our schedule heading into season number one. We're opening up on the road against the number 16 ranked Miami Hurricanes. Then we have another on the road in-state game against a rival in the University of South Florida Bulls. We got to do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? We got to come prepared or we're not going to win that game. Then we have our conference play here against UTSA, Middleton, Rice, UAB, Charlotte. Then we play Coastal Carolina at home, man. A really good Sunbelt team. Then we have more conference play than play against James Madison. Then, hey, conference championship week. That's where we're looking to be at the end of the year, winning that game right there to knock off one of our challenges. We're kicking off the preseason ranked at number 97th overall in the entire country, which is kind of respectable for how things played out last year with their head coach getting fired and me taking the new job. All right, let's check our depth chart and see what players we currently have and what positions we may need to recruit before going into next year. At quarterback, we got senior here. Okay, so you're, you're gonna be gone. We may need to get a quarterback. Running back, we got a couple juniors and okay, yeah, we're still gonna have to get some of those as well. Oh my goodness, fullback. We have tight ends and running backs. Highest receivers is 78. Definitely got to get some of that in. At least this dude right here has 94 speed. 6'8 overall tight end. We got to do better than that. He's a senior. We got to upgrade. Because after after essentially everybody on the offensive line, we have nothing but 60-ish overalls. And you can't win no championship like that. Let's go. All right. Hey, Evan Anderson. He's an 84 overall impact player. I feel like we can manage with this. I mean, he's a sophomore. I may end up redshirting him just so we can keep him for an additional year uh, on the back end when we really think, you know what I'm saying, we're going to make some noise. Because, you know, season number one, we're probably not gonna make too much noise right now like that nfl mindset that rebuild concept i don't know if they roster like this in real life or if they just not doing us some justice all right this dude here he's at least an 84 but he is a red shirt junior so he's not gonna have too much time with us so we do have to replace him as well now that we see what positions need some upgrades let's hit the recruiting ball hard so that we can set the foundation of what we want our culture to look like at this program before we forget i do have a few challenges that i must complete in this video before i take another head coaching job at any other school but there's one issue. If I don't complete all these challenges by the end of the video, I have to rebuild my alma mater's rival, Georgia Southern. All of my App State fans would disown me and be extremely disappointed if I had to do that. But to kick off our challenges, we must sign one five-star recruit. We must have the number one recruiting class in our conference for one season. We must become a ranked team in the top 25 poll. We must be the power five opponent before I leave. We must be the ranked opponent before I leave and win a conference championship, something that they haven't done since Lane Kiffin left. So if you have any schools that you would like to see me rebuild, just make sure you drop a comment and let me know. We lost by one touchdown to Miami. We lost to USF? 17 to seven, man. We are 0-2 to start the season. This is not looking too good. Okay, look, we beat MTSU. 49 to 23 we on a two game win streak we're matched up against charlotte it's the biggest recruiting weekend of the entire season and we have some of the best prospects coming in we got four-star receiver kelvin wilson four-star tight or four-star athlete Derek rivera who's going to be a tight end for us yes it is in space touchdown let's go man once again as you can see we win 35 to 0 against charlotte at home in our biggest recruiting weekend of the season boom baby we got two commits in our last recruiting weekend and now we got a lot more other recruits ready to visit let's go we have a commit from right tackle john smith he's committed to our team and we beat louisiana tech 31 to 3. boom let's go man we got one two three commits four commits man we lost by one to southern miss okay we should be worried about that we lost 7 to 13 but look we didn't lose that much and we won baby we're going bowling we going bowling in season number one. Let's see who made it to the conference championship because I know we didn't make it. So in the end of the first season, UAB is at the top of the conference USA East side with Tulane right behind him at nine and three, Charlotte eight and four, Western Kentucky and FAU were both six and six, Middle Ten is three and nine, and La Tech is two and ten. And then if you look at the other side, Tulsa's eleven and one. We almost beat Tulsa. We lost to them by six points. And they are now the number 20th ranked team in the country. That would have been huge to knock them off. But now I think them and UAB got to play each other inside the conference championship game. UAB is ranked number 24 as well. Hold up. I was about to say, look, I was about to say we beat a we beat a top a top ranked team, but now nah, we did not. Yo, we did not make a bowl game with six wins. That is crazy. Let's go. In season number one, we have a contract extension offer. Let's view the contract. Let's sign the contract. 
let's accept it we have any transfer requests oh we got a right outside linebacker from syracuse that wants to come in we have a left outside linebacker from temple that wants to come in let's get both of y'all let's get the, the the number six scrambling quarterback we do need one of those and let's get this tackle here both four stars oh man i'm nervous oh, let's go, baby. we got tony owens we got jamar harvey we got jt howell we got brandon atkins we got chuck and patrick i don't look i don't know what we're gonna do with chuck and patrick these two here are getting cut immediately we signed the top class in our conference we can check that off of the challenges we already we already got the number one recruiting class in the conference let's let's celebrate that real quick that's one thing we did all right here we go kicking off season number two let's check out what our schedule looks like this year our non-conference games are on the road week one against nebraska on the road week number two against the number two ranked alabama crimson tide and then we play jmu in week 14 at home oh i ain't gonna lie playing alabama i'm kind of nervous about every other game on our schedule is a, a winnable game but dang we still going yo we're ranked 85th in the country for the preseason polls yo we beat nebraska we beat nebraska we just knocked off a power five team let's go hey we can take that hey that's one challenge off the list we just knocked off a power five opponent in nebraska 31 to 21 that's another one of our challenges done that we can take off the list oh okay we lost 23 to 37 it's not as bad as i thought we were gonna lose and we oh my goodness we blew them out 47 to 13. i'm really feeling that year three is gonna be the year but hey i'm, I'm okay with this let's go three and one that's not something that we thought would happen when you originally look at the season two schedule i mean the rest of the schedule are winnable games but hey okay here we go hey two more commits to our team boom let's go 40 to 16 win over mtsu and we took a loss can we beat Tulane? that's like the one team we can't beat in conference with a commit from marcus davis jonathan johnson and kyle bennett yo we're really on a losing streak right now let's go we're bowl eligible baby six wins on the season let's go and we got a commit from tim black a four-star tight end that we were in a battle with the more athletes you get in your team the better your team will be when i signed to appalachia state coming out of uh, high school i signed as an athlete they wanted me to play defensive back they wanted me to play wide receiver they wanted me to play running back i ended up playing wide receiver and running back let's go 48 to 21 win over jmu making sure they cannot go to a bowl game which will help us in recruiting and hurt them in recruiting to the Lockheed Armed Forces Bowl and playing against SCU. They were six and six, five and four in their conference. We were eight and four, five and three in our conference, man. We blew them out 41 to zero. We rushed for 2,000 yards this season, won a bowl game, forced 20 turnovers this season. Hey, we had a we had a, a strong safety get drafted in the seventh round. That's our first draft pick ever in our coaching career here at FAU. This is what our recruiting board is gonna look like heading into national signing day we're gonna throw eight thousand on eric white we got dwight williams you know what i'm saying he's he's about 50 50 with us but we're his only option so i feel like if we can get a little bit on him we can grab him he's a four-star dn that's all we're going in on man everybody else if they commit they commit if they don't it is what it is let's go to national signing day and see who we got we got our guys man look we got eric white he committed to our school paul francis committed to our school trey jackson committed to our school jamar williams committed to our school we signed the top class in our conference two years in a row you can check that off we signed a top five class in all of college football you see us right here ranked at number five we did not sign a five-star recruit yet that's the one thing that we still have not done. We have not signed a five-star recruit. Here we go, season number three. Let's go ahead and check and see what our schedule looks like this year. We're opening up week number two, but really week number one for us against the University of Florida in Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. They are ranked number 20 in the country. Then we play Tulsa. Miami's ranked number six in the country. That's gonna be a good one. Look, we just gotta knock off one of these ranked teams, whether it's Florida or Miami one of those games for us has to be a winnable game i'm kind of thinking florida right now the way it's looking yo we beat florida 39 to 36 we can take off knock off a ranked opponent on our challenge list that is lit let's go Woo! oh my gosh i can't believe we did it look this is the year we blew tulsa out the water 44 to 3. we beat miami 27 to 24 i think this is the year i'm gonna keep saying every time it happened this gotta be the year oh i just noticed we're ranked with the number 22 team in the country 
three and oh about to go play the utah Utes, who are number 13 ranked in the country can we knock off three straight ranked opponents and like i said we can take that off our challenge man all left that we have to do is sign a five-star recruit and win our conference title but we lose the utah 10 to 44 all right i'm not tripping i'm not tripping but we lost by three come on man okay we got a right guard to commit to our team and the thing i hate about advancing week like this because when you sim sometimes a team like a utsa will beat a team like us who on paper they should not beat didn't happen in this case but you know this game will make it happen a couple times throughout the year we won 28 to 0. here we go we got one commit john jackson and we handle business 28 to 7. we got two more recruits that committed to our team free safety ernest green and lester white which was a fullback and we won 49 to 19. all right southern miss is three and five we're seven and two now ranked number 19 in the country and we won 42 to 20 man look y'all get me excited over here Let, let's go check and see what the conference standings are looking like on our side is rice on our side no they're not too lame though two lane is ranked number three in the country oh man that is not good i knew i should have played that game but look don't give up on all hope whenever we play two lane this season i will make sure i play against them and i will make sure that we beat them remember this in case i lose later on you can come back to this and say i was wrong but guess what i got a feeling i'm gonna win we did get two commits right there robert justice is that the five star we signed a five star prospect man take that off the challenge list man we're doing everything that we said we were gonna do now all we have to do left is just win the conference championship game but that all determines on if we beat Tulane get a chance to go to that game all right man MTSU is eight and three do we play this game I think we play this game right here let's go but then now I got faith in my guys like I said I got faith in my guys 45 to 7 man big win right there let's go oh we don't even play Tulane this year no i feel like my strength of schedule was harder than theirs though had to be we played all ranked opponents they didn't play no ranked opponents so that ought to give us the bid for the conference i would hope so oh this is gonna make me mad now, how does this work i'm trying i'm really trying to figure this out neither one of us played each other but we're on the same side of our division i thought you play everybody on the same side of your conference make it make sense yo look now we're forced to come back for year four and in year four we have to win the conference title or i have to rebuild georgia southern and that's not something that i'm trying to do but we're just gonna skip this game because it really don't matter we just need to skip to the end of the season get our recruiting going get our players because guess what next year we're using everybody we're not red shirting anyone we're playing every single player that we've recruited up until this point and we're gonna have one of the best teams in the in the whole country forget conference this is supposed to be the year we said goodbye to fau and if any of our players try and leave to go to the draft guess what stay because we win in the national championship next year we didn't have any players get drafted which is perfect got a 72 overall cornerback that wants to come in look we'll take you and we got three out of the four we didn't get the quarterback i don't care you got in the top class in the conference for our third straight year in a row had a top 10 class in the entire country where's tulane at y'all are ranked 28 okay now let's put everything on gameplay because this year we're not we're not focused on recruiting not one bit this is this is do or die this year strictly let's get this thing rolling man all right here we go to kick things off in season number four we got a pretty tough schedule again we're opening up with arkansas at home then we play miami on the road but here's the kicker i'm still only going to play conference games if need be all our non-conference games i don't care about because our only challenge left is to win the conference championship look i don't even care about the recruiting board let's advance to the next week we playing against arkansas let's go and we're starting off season number four unranked after being the number 11th ranked team in the uh, country last year i believe we beat arkansas man 40 to 10. we beat miami back to back years starting the season off 2-0 i like that can't you can't complain with that right there ea don't do what you do thank you y'all did not do it we're 30 we won 37 to 13. okay we're ahead of middle tennessee state tulsa wow two lanes starting off one and three that is crazy okay we beat utsa 43 to 7. i think that's something that we're gonna have to do every week check the standing see if it's a team that we need to play against or we don't need to play against but you can't beat us man 48 to 20. we beat them 40 to 14. i ain't gonna lie we lost to them i was gonna have a fit and we beat them 52 to 16. I ain't gonna lie, I was really nervous. That that right there kind of took a little bit, a little bit for it to load up. We beat them 45 to three. Currently, we're ranked number three in the country. We may be ranked number one or two in the country at this point. Ooh, let's go, baby. 52 to 28 win 
over Rice. And now it's all up for the Marbles, baby. The only team left that we got to play is Middle 10, who are now 8-2. and two. Who did they lose to? They lost to Law Tech. Let's go ahead and get saucy with it, man. Look, I told y'all this is going to be one of the only games we play because it's a must-win game. We got to win this conference championship. We are your number three ranked Florida Atlantic Owls taking on Middle Tennessee State for a win to get into our conference championship game. Quarterback, running back, running back. Let's go. Oh, juke. Oh, my gosh. One-handed grab. But that's why that boy getting drafted this year. And he just set a school record for receiving touchdowns in a season. Breaking his old record from last year. Got him. Easy tutty. Look, we may we may just run the quarterback up the middle. If nothing's here, is open quick. He's open. Already. Let's go. This is the best football play in all of football. Victory formation. Quarterback knee. Doesn't get any better than that, man. Let's go. We beat the middle Tennessee. I don't even know they mascot. But 38 to 19. Easy win for your Florida Atlantic Owls as we go to 12 and 0 with the perfect regular season. Let's advance to our last bye week. I should really just advance to conference championship week because that's where we going. Okay, here we are, conference championship week against eight and four Tulane, and we are the Florida Atlantic Owls, ranked number three in the country at 12 and 0 for the season. This is what we live for. This is what we set our eyes and our goal on. This was our four-year plan. We're right on target right now for the four-year mark if we win this game we have to beat Tulane in this game right here in order to complete our last challenge and then potentially have a chance to win a national championship at our back let's go come on man let's go 28 yard reception hit him with verts just to see where they're in got him yo how does he get that how does he get that that's supposed to be on the money yo they went down and scored again he returned the kick for Wow. Get in there. Get in there, Harvey. Finally on the board, man. Stop playing with us. Let's go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Good block. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. And it all. Touchdown. 35 to 20. We beat Tulane. We are your conference USA champs. And let's see if we go to what bowl game we go to. Last but not least, win a conference title was something that they have not done since Lane Kiffin left the school. And that's what we tried to do. And that was our last challenge. Go ahead and advance the bowl season and see where we will be playing. Looks like we have made the college football playoff national championship game where we will be taking on the number one overall 13 and no Penn State Nittany Lions. We are the Florida Atlantic Owls coming at the number two ranked team in the country. 13 and 0, 9 and 0 in our conference, taking on the number one Penn State Nittany Lions, who are also 13 and 0 and 9 and 0 in the Big Ten for the college football national championship game. This game is for all the marbles. This was not one of our challenges, but guess what? We are here, so we're going to go ahead and knock these boys off, and then after that, see what coaching jobs are available at the end of the season. Let's get straight to it. Get in there. Get in there, Wise. Come on, man. Like I said, should be a walk-in touchdown. Let's go, man. We're on the board first. Let's see what our defense does here. Oh, they got scored on. I don't like that. I don't like that. And they went down and scored, y'all. Look, that might be game. I might just send this bad boy on now. Oh, they're putting it on us. Touchdown. Let's go, man. We're back in this thing just a little bit. Look, it ain't, it ain't looking like it's too much, but hey. They scored again. Yep, that's ball game, y'all. That's ball game, y'all. The 14. Penn State wins. They remain undefeated and are your college football national champions. 